hello what's up youtube photographer ronald sweet and i try in this tutorial i want to show you high-end screen retouching in photoshop in just 12 minutes so just going to be using around 12 minutes and the two extra minutes are just going to be for the intro about screen retouching and every concept so without further ado let's just get started and if i told you find this whole photo don't forget to like this video don't, don't forget to subscribe if i told you not yet subscribe so right now i'm using photoshop 2020 and this is the image that we want to work with right now so remember in this tutorial we are just going to be using a concept known as frequency separation frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the textures and the colors so that when we work on the textures alone and we perfect the textures and also work on the colors alone and we perfect them when we combine both the colors and the textures we are going to end up with a nicely edited and retouched image so that is what we are going to be learning about in this very tutorial so let's just come and create those two layers that are going to be containing the textures and the colors so just come and hit ctrl command j twice and we're just going to name this to blow or you can name it color or you can now come right on this layer and name it to high or you can name it textures so after doing that just come and turn this off and select the low frequency layer then come right here to filter blur and come to question blur so this is the most important step for this very technique so at this point that is when you determine the amount of textures you want to remain with in your image so for this case you have to look for an area that has more skin details and when it comes to the radius just come and move the radius up to the point when you just starting to close out on those details in your image so just come and start taking this up remember your image may be having different levels of details and it may be having different levels of sharp sharpness so meaning your radius may be differing so for this case i'm just going to take it up to a point when i'm just starting to lose out on those details in this very image so just going to be using a radius of seven that is when i'm just starting to completely lose, completely lose out on the details in this image but i can still see the other facial structures and i'm just going to come and press or click on the ok button to approve the settings so right now the image turns to be a little bit blurry as you can see it then we're going to come to the high frequency layer and now turn it on by clicking on the eye icon and after turning it on remember we only want to remain with textures in the high frequency layer so i'm just going to come right here to image and come all the way to apply image so when you come to apply image this is when we determine the amount of textures and what you have to consider for this step is the bit of or the bit depth of your image so if i told you have 16 or 8 remember to take these settings into consideration so for this case if i told you have 8 right here let me just start with those that have 8 right here just come to the layer and make sure you select the low frequency layer meaning we are we are just extracting the textures from the low frequency layer make sure the channel is rgb and the blend mode has to be subtract this is for an 8-bit image and the opacity has to be at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask are not checked the scale is 2 and offset 128 so make sure the invert option is not checked so when you do all this you can see the textures are on this gray like kind of layer so meaning we have put the textures on that layer so if at all you have a 16-bit image like i have right now come and select the low frequency layer the channel is rgb the blend mode this time around has to be add or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask are not checked make sure these two are not checked the scale is two and this time around the offset is zero and make sure you tick the invert option and you have the same results right here so just come and press on ok and we're going to put and before we group this come to the blend mode and make sure the high frequency layer has been selected come and change the blend mode from normal to linear light and you can still get back the image the way it is meant to look so after doing that we're just going to put these two in a group by hitting or left clicking while holding on the control button and clicking control g or command g on the keyboard and we can simply double click and we're going to name that to frequency separation so th there are, there shouldn't be a difference between the frequency separation group and the original image so we're just going to open the group and come and we select the low frequency layer. remember we are now going to start dealing with colors so we want to get a tool that is going to help us blend the transitions within the skin tones or the colors in the image 
So with the color layer selected or the low frequency layer selected, just come under the brushes and simply right click under the brushes and you get your mixer brush tool. So this is the mixer brush tool. And after getting the mixer brush tool, make sure the settings, the hardness is at 0% and make sure it is a clean brush. Make sure you select this option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke. The weight we are going to be using is 9%, the load of 75, the mix at 90, and the flat 100%. You may find different people on YouTube using different settings, and those settings work for them, but for this case, I prefer to use the ones I've just mentioned right now. So after doing that, you're just going to come right here, and we can see there is an option which says sample earlier. So when you click on it, it means when you start painting on the skin, it is also going to sample information from the high frequency layer which is the textures and it is going to paint them in this low frequency layer so make sure you don't select or tick this option make sure it is not checked or ticked and you select the low frequency layer and after doing that <clears throat> if at all you have an older version of photoshop you may find your mixer brush tool below here i'm using photoshop 2020 and mine is under the brushes so you're just going to zoom in slightly make sure you don't over zoom in by using Control command plus on the keyboard so this is fine and we're going to come and turn off the high frequency <coughs> high frequency layer so that you can only see the colors in this case we can see every area that has an even skin tone transitions and we're just going to start blending so that we can unify or have uniform transitions within the skin of our model right now so we're just going to use the mr brush tool and if at all your tool is showing a cross like icon like this make sure you click on the caps lock key to undo or remove or deactivate the caps lock key so just going to left click and start moving or painting on the skin and you can see as you're painting the skin is going to look a little bit plastic as you can see in this very video you can see the more plastic it gets the better the results you're going to be having at the end of the retouching process so you have to move the mixer brush tool in a direction that is equivalent to the way an area is shaped. You can see I'm moving my mixer brush tool in an up down movement because the forehead is moving in this direction. So I'm just going to move it down on this area and just move it right here on the cheekbone. I'm moving it from uh, up to down but following the direction of uh, the major features on the cheekbone. So I'm just going to do this for the rest of the image and i may have to forward this but you have to keep on checking on the progress of your retouching process by turning this on or texture layer on and you can see a before and after so far for just those few strokes and turn it off and make sure you select it still on the low frequency layer reduce on the size of your mixer brush tool so you have to keep on playing with different sizes of the mixer brush tool and just come and paint through just like that and you're going to be harmonizing or blending the transitions within the skin color of the model so just going to come and paint through just like that and you can see it is really doing a very nice and wonderful uh, job and we're just going to paint through just like that and when we are done you're going to be looking at a retouched image but remember this is not all because when you use the mixer brush tool, there are some areas you may have accident, accidentally rather missed out when you're trying to use this tool. So you have to be careful and we perfect it with the step I'm, I'm going to show you later on in this very nice and short tutorial. Let me just come and paint through just like that. And you can see, like I said, keep on checking on the progress and you can see we have a beautiful image so far so I'm just going to keep on working on this image and we work on the lower parts of the body so turn this off and keep on working on this very image just like that so I'm basically trying to harmonize or have beautiful transitions within uh, this very image and like I said keep on playing with different sizes of the mixer brush tool by using the open and close brackets or the keyboard to change uh, the size or make the mixer brush tool big or smaller depending on how you want to retouch your image so just come and paint in those areas just like that reduce on the size and work on a smaller area 
so you have to keep on playing with different sizes depending on the area you're trying to work on in the image so i'm just going to forward this right now so that we can come back when i'm done using a mr brush pro so let me just forward this okay welcome back and you can see this is what we have as a before and after for just using the mr brush pro to blend or even out the skin tone transitions of the image so if i told you missed out on some areas you can come and refine them by using the lasso tool technique so just come and select the lasso tool make sure you feather in this 22 pixels and make sure you're on the new selection mode and alias has been checked and now you can zoom in slightly and now make a selection on the skin area just like that so just keeping out from the eyebrows and the hair and the edges of the image just like that just come back filter blur and come down to gaussian blur so we are still on the low frequency light just move the radius up up the point when you're just getting to feel like your image is having the right texture and just stop at that point so i'm just going to come and hit ok and i'm just going to work on the image or the rest of the image just like that and i'm going to be applying this effect so what i'm doing I'm basically drawing shapes and right clicking and applying the gaussian blur if i told you feel it is too much you can simply right click on the selection and come to fade gaussian blur and simply reduce on the effect of the gaussian blur in that area so i'm just going to leave everything to the maximum and after doing this remember we still have blemishes within the image you're just going to be cleaning up the image and the reason that's why i prefer to remove blemishes last is because the mixer brush tool tends to flatten out most of the, blem the blemishes and i have less work to do when it comes to cleaning up or removing blemishes from uh, the image you can see right now we have perfected the image even more just look at it before and after just like that and we're just going to start removing the blemishes from the image so blemishes are part of textures so just come and select the high frequency layer which contains the textures and come and simply get the clone stamp tool for the settings i prefer a hardness of between 30 and 40 i'm going to be using 34 the mode is normal opacity and the flat 100 percent aligned has been checked and the sample this time around make sure it is on the current layer with the high frequency layer selected you can now zoom all the way in and start remo removing blemishes so how the clone sample tool works you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and simply left click on the area that is close to the blemish and make sure it is slightly bigger than the blemish and left click over the blemish to get rid of it so let me repeat this you come to a clean area close to the blemish and simply increase on the size depending on how big the blemish is by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard and simply left click on that area that is clean by holding down alternate and release the alternate and left click over the blemish so that is what i'm going to be doing to remove the blemishes and i'm just going to be forwarding this right now so that you don't take a long time right here so i'm just going to do that right now hello welcome back and you can see i'm done removing most of the blemishes so you can take your time trying to remove these blemishes so anything that you want to do after retouching uh, are just brief adjustments that are like eye whitening just come and create a hue and saturation layer turn the saturation all the way down just like that around negative 97 or 98 make sure the white layer mask is selected and press ctrl i or command i on the keyboard to invert that come and get the brush tool and make sure the past and the flat 100 percent make sure you have black and white and white is on top right here so in order to reset you can use click on these two small boxes and you can switch between black and white to have white on top by using x on the keyboard or you can use these arrows to have white on top simply zoom into the image just like that reduce on the size by using the open brackets on the keyboard and simply paint using a white brush in the area you want to whiten and for this case it is the eyes for this model right here and you're just going to whiten the area come this other side and also paint to 
white in. Remember, we are only painting on the white area or what should be white in the eye, just like that. And you can do a little bit of teeth whitening if at all you wish to, by just painting just right there. If at all you make a mistake, you can use X to switch back to black and you can undo the effect. So I'm just going to paint using white just like that. And you can see we are now done the retouching or we are now done doing the retouching and you can see the overall before and after before after so basically this is how to do high-end skin retouching in photoshop using frequency separation and if you want to export the image just come and save or come to export as and you'll have a window open for you right here and after doing that you just can come and select the format as jpeg and make sure you select by cubic sharper to have a really sharp image after retouching it also embed the color profile and also make sure these two options have been checked or they have a tick close to them so when you do that photoshop is going to embed all the color grading that you added to the image and your photo won't change in color when you post it on social media so this is it and after this loading you have the image right now and after that this option is going to highlight or become blue in color so click on it and you look for where to save your image just like that and save the image wherever you want to save it so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating